hello everyone and welcome to fix and action youtube channel so in this video we will be trying to bypass frp lock or google account on cool pair legacy so this is the second method or second video that we are um, making on this device so the first method for some of the viewers uh, did not work and that's the reason we are trying the second one so they're almost the same methods but a little difference to get started so first of all you have to connect it with your Wi-Fi or internet so once you are connected to Wi-Fi on the internet so we are going back words to the main screen just to make sure let's see if we got a google account on this device or not we will be just uh, testing it just to make sure that we have a google account on this cool pad legacy so i hope this method will, will work for you guys and if it worked please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos i really appreciate your support just be patient and follow along with me if this method for some reason didn't work for you so you can go back to my other videos especially um, the first method on the same uh, device just wait for it all right so press here just a second Okay, so as you can see, we forgot the patron lock and we forgot we, or we lost our old Google account and we cannot even create a new one here. So let's go back to the main screen or welcome screen. So here you will see uh, to select the language. So let's select this one. Uh, it may be a Chinese language. And as you can see that the whole language has changed so now you press on this one emergency callback button and you see here press on this one so it will become red press again and you will see this screen now here you will see this edit or pencil sign press on that you will see this screen here just press on this one and you will see here to write or add a name something like that and you can see now the global icon or the language icon is showing up on on the keyboard so all you have to press and hold and it will bring you another menu so before we do that let's press once this global icon it will change it to english now press and hold again and you will see here press on that it will take you to this menu here press on this green button it will take you to another menu now here you will see the right arrow so press on this right arrow as you can see here these all the others doesn't have a right arrow but this one got a right arrow right press on that so now you see three dots press on that now you will see another menu and press on this one now you will see another section will come and here in this page the first one which says android as you can see in the english it says android and try this share icon if something pops up here uh, and that's more good then you can if something pops up here then you can press on gmail here okay again second time so the first time if it didn't work or go through so press on share again press on gmail it will bring you the email section if it still doesn't work or give you an error message something like this so no worries let's press on this okay so it take us okay let's go back press again press on gmail so it give us for some reason error so that's not a big deal so press on this youtube video click on these three dots uh, let's click on this clock sign or clock icon so it will bring you a chrome browser ok 
Okay, so press on this one. Now right on the address bar or search uh, right here, quick shortcut maker apk let's download it from let's see which one we can download it from this one android apks box.com let's download it from this website it says android apks box.com so download close this if it asks you so you can close that and wait for it still doesn't work so so now press on download from server press on this one press on the first one okay again press on this one nothing happens let's try again should download the okay as you can see we downloaded several times or so three or four times so you have to be patient and wait for it so we almost downloaded it for a few times so let's open one of that and now press on this right button again turn on this allow the user to install this app and press on this one just wait for it now you can open this all right so now you will see a lot of apps here swipe down and let's first find the launcher android launcher something like that so let's go back to the front the first site so here you will see this launcher 3 so press on that the first one launcher 3 try it this one so once you're on this screen now we are trying to change the language back to English before we do the rest of stuff so you have to find the settings icon as you can see here the settings you may see something here if not so swipe so that's how you swipe up and you see here the settings the gear icon it will bring this right the settings menu and swipe up and you see here I icon click on that you will see here the first the global icon or the language icon click on that and you see the first here it says a letter so click on that press on that and here add English and drag and drop or drag and hold or uh, swipe up that's how you have to do it so now the language is changed to English now you can go back you can go back to the main screen so swipe up again you see here settings oh all right so swipe up again just wait for it until the all the apps change back to english and you see here the settings now before it was here so that was a chinese language or a different language that's why the position of the app was different so now it's here right open that once you open that swipe down you see here security and location and you find here advanced screen pinning so it will be off so you can press on that turn on this turn on lock device when unpinning and let's put a new pattern for example let's put something like this now you can go back or restart the device And I hope this method worked for you guys. And if it works, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. So just be patient, follow along with me. And if this method didn't work, you can follow the first method um, or the first video we did on the cool pad legacy. And these methods you can apply to other devices or other models as well. Just thumbs up and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. So as you can see, it's asking us the patron lock at the beginning of the booting so as you can see we have successfully bypassed the first booting screen and now we are wearing or trying the second screen which is the google account part
as you can see here the lock screen so now you can unlock the device put you a new pattern lock that we just draw start skip let's swipe okay don't copy so press on don't copy here okay so let's draw our pattern that we draw all right so as you can see this screens uh, it gives you an option to skip this or put your um, old email or you can create a new one so that means we have successfully bypassed the frp lock or google account from coolpad legacy device and i hope this method will work for you guys and please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos we really appreciate your support thank you